The overall goal of this procedure is to investigate the blood retinal barrier permeability and the inner limiting membrane integrity in animal models of retinal disease. This is accomplished by first injecting AAV particles containing a GFP transgene into the vitreous or into the bloodstream. The second step is to sample blood at different time points after the injections. The blood sampling is complemented by weekly in vivo fundus imaging. The final step is to perform immunohistochemistry on retinal flap mounts and retinal cryosections. Ultimately, confocal microscopy and PCR are used to show the transduction pattern indicator of the ILM integrity and to detect AAV particles in the bloodstream, thus demonstrating permeability of the blood retinal barrier. The main advantage of this technique over existing <laughs> methods is that the AAV-based method gives information on the blood retinal barrier permeability not provided by other essays. The implications of this technique extend toward AAV-mediated gene therapy because it helps to ensure the blood retinal barrier impermeability to AAV particles, thus avoiding any undesirable side effects. This method can provide insight into the inner limiting membrane integrity in animal models of other retinal diseases, such as diabetic rats. We first had the idea for this method when we saw that the retina of our DP71 known mouse model, showing a blood retinal barrier breakdown, was more efficiently transduced than the wild-type retina. 